number one example is y equals negative x plus 4. It is in the form of slope intercept form and we have y equals mx plus b. Okay, our objective here is to rewrite the given equation into standard form which is ax plus by equals c. Okay, in order to rewrite this in standard form, okay, we need to transpose negative x to the other side. Okay, and so this is negative x. If then we're going to change the sign, make it positive plus y equals 4. So now it, in, it is in the form of standard form. We have the ax, the by, and the c. Okay. Okay, number 2 is y equals negative 2x plus 6. Okay, again, we have y equals mx plus b. Okay, in order to rewrite this equation into standard form, ax plus by equals c. Okay, you transpose negative 2 to the other side. So, negative, negative sign, okay, it will change to positive so therefore you have 2x positive 2x plus y equals 6 and now it is in the form of ax by and c simple and now we have number 3 okay y equals 5x plus 7 then we have y equals mx plus b and I'm going to write this into the form of ax plus by equals c. Okay, magkasama yung ax and by dito sa my left side. So, therefore, you transpose 5x to the other side. So, positive 5x, it will change the sign. Then, we have negative 5x plus y equals 7. But, we have negative here. So, in order to make it positive, we multiply both sides by negative 1. So, negative multiplied by negative 5x equals, or negative 1 times neg negative 5 is equal to positive 5x. And negative 1 times positive y is equal to negative y. Then, negative 1 times 7 is negative 7. So, not in the form of ax plus by equals c. Okay, the fourth example is y equals 1 half x plus 3. Okay, so this is slope intercept form and we're going to rewrite this equation into standard form ax plus by equals c. Okay, so again, we're going to write y equals 1 half x plus 3. Okay, so let us first transpose one half to the other side. So it becomes negative one half x plus y equals 3. Okay, so the first term is fraction. Therefore, we're going to multiply it by the least common denominator. The denominator of 1 is 2, y is 1, the denominator of 3 is 1. So, the least common denominator is 2. But the first term is negative, so we can multiply it by negative 2. Okay, now, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 1 over 2x or positive 2 over 2x. The negative 2 times positive y is negative 2y over 1. Next, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 over 1. Then, 2 divided by this 1, or you can cancel 2, then x now is equal to negative 2y divided by 1 is negative 2y. Then, negative 6 divided by 1 is negative 6. Therefore, it is now in the form of ax plus by equals c. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button below for more videos and for more lessons.